Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be talking about a new tool on Clothe 3D, which is called Fabric Creator. With this tool, you'll be able to add uh, properties to your fabric and choose how much of cotton, polyester, what kind of fabric, basically create the physical properties for your fabric. And this is a pretty new tool. I haven't seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube, so I thought this would be a good one to show you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you like this video, and just let me know what else you wanna see next. If you've been using Clove for a while, you know that it's been very hard to change fabric properties. Basically, you would just download the fabrics directly from either Clove Connect website or Vmode, and those fabrics would come with the fabric properties, which, if you don't know, is what makes the fabric simulate like real fabric. And it's been very hard to change those properties over time. What we used to do is just select a very close uh, fabric type from what we were looking for and then change the property type. For example, if you had a physical fabric with you at hand and you wanted to transfer that to a digital uh, garment, it was very hard to get the fabric to drape the same because you couldn't tweak and change the fabric properties before. All we could do was changing here to a very similar fabric and then going down to the physical properties down here under detail and try to change those numbers here to make it drape like the way you, you want it to. Another way that you could do this in the past was doing the emulator, but everyone knows they have to have a business account to receive this tool that you can then put your fabric swatch and measure all those numbers to enter on the detail for the physical properties. No one like me, freelancer that has a individual account could really use this because I didn't have this tool before. So now they gave us a different option, which is available for everyone. I think is really, really good. I'm gonna open just a project file here. I had it set up just to test the fabric with you. Oh, did I just save on top of it? I just did. Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to redo the prop the, the project. Yes, I ch I okay. Okay. Let's do it again then. I'm just gonna open a mannequin. I had this all set up and I'm so stupid. So for the fabric creator, the way you find the tool is under a fabric here, any fabric at all. So just fabric one will do. You click with the right and you have now fabric creator. Just click on that and this comes up. So up here you have just this window to just see what the fabric looks like. You can change what model you want. So you can have it on a cape, on a cylinder like that, or that first one like this. Okay, doesn't really matter. And down here is where you're going to be building your fabric. So you can give it a name. If you have a supplier, let's say you bought that on a shop close to your house or something and you want to make sure you remember what supplier that is, you can put the name here, owner, anything like that. And then you come to fabric type and you have so many fabric types here that you can choose. So let's say we want to make a tweed. And this is where we would get stuck because before all you could do was really just choose a tweed or download a tweed that was close to what you had. But now you can actually change the composition of this fabric. As you know, if you change the composition, the fabric reacts differently, drapes differently. And let's say you, you're buying something, a fabric online and you want to test. Usually on the description of the fabrics, they have the composition. So you can add those here and see how that would react before you buy the fabric. Or if you're remaking a physical garment and you want that to be as realistic as possible, you can go to the website, see what the fabric is and add that here. For this tweed, for example, there are so many. You can either have a fully cotton, different blends of cotton, spandex, polyester, fully polyester, anything. And you can see if I change the fabric here, it changes all the composition options as well. So it's very, very realistic. They only show you the comp the compositions for the for the fabric that you have selected, which is, is really, really good. If you guys have noticed, this here changes according to the fabric that I have. Let's do cotton, polyester, and spandex. And then here you can put the percentage of each one of them. So let's do 80 cotton, 10 polyester, 10 spandex. I don't know, just random. But you could 
find this information usually on the websites for the fabrics. And you can also change the density. So 300 is currently, but you could do, I don't know, 250, 140. Also information that you can find online for the fabric. So you can see that drapes differently according to the composition that I have. It makes a lot of sense to me that I have this now. It was really, really a pain <laughs> when I was trying to, to, to get fabrics as close as possible to real life and I couldn't, I couldn't change the composition. Now it's a possibility. So they, they answer to our prayers and they did it. It's amazing. Then on the maps, you can either make your own textures and maps and add those here. If you want to just use one by clove, you can use one of the defaults, the presets. Usually they have some, some pretty good ones. So you have that option, this option, and this option. And don't worry about the color scheme here because you can change those colors as well. So just choose the kind of print or structure that you want for this fabric and the colors we can change. So I'm just gonna go with this purple one for now and you just apply and close. So now this fabric one actually is the, the fabric that we made. It would have had a different name if I changed the name, but I didn't change the name. And now I'm just gonna test it and let me put this up. And now if I simulate, it's going to simulate like tweed. So <laughs> you can see that it falls quite a lot and it would be different if I had a different composition. So yeah, that's how the Fabric Creator works. I think is a tool that they really needed a long, long time. It's been a long time waiting for this to come out. Because as you know, Clo is more focused on the actual fashion industry. So either creating samples here and making them physical or taking physical garments and making twin copies on digital version. And for that to happen, they need the fabrics to work as they would in real life. So we can have digital samples that are actually very accurate and very close to what you know, the physical version is gonna look like and how it drapes on the body. That's the most important thing because sometimes I, I had experiences where I had the samples made in digital and the physical was close, but it didn't react or drape the way I, I, I thought it would. It's just because of the choice of fabric, the composition and how all that plays a role when creating a garment. So I think this new tool is gonna to play a big part when companies decide to actually use Clo in their workflow because now the pattern making, the designers can see how the fabric is actually gonna look like and drape. So yeah, that's the fabric creator from Clo, the new tool. You have to have the version 7.3 for that to work. So make sure you download the new version if you don't have that yet. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you want to see more, you can go to Patreon and you can follow along, learn, enjoy the journey with everyone else. And also you can show me your progress on Discord. I can talk about your work. If you have any questions, I can answer you guys on Discord or Patreon or on the comments here on YouTube. I'm always open to help and I hope you guys are enjoying the journey with me. Besides that, I also post a lot on Instagram and TikTok, mainly behind the scenes footage and a little bit of my day-to-day -day life. So if you like that, go follow me there. And if you didn't know, I also have a podcast, Fashion Passport. Go support, check it out. We talk about all things fashion. If you want to listen, thank you. I appreciate it. And that's it for this week. I hope you guys have a lovely week and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye!